GM Canada Headquarters Oshawa, Top 5 Things Each Employee Must Do Now Execs with General Motors advised on November 26, 2018 that GM Canada Headquarters Oshawa and the General Motors Oshawa Assembly Plant are closing down by the end of 2019. No trucks or cars are assigned to the plant for production past December 2019. This will affect about 2,800 people who will be unemployed, 2,500 union employees as well as 300 salaried employees. The purpose of this blog is to discuss the issue, review what each affected GM employee should have been doing all along, and the top 5 things they need to do right now. I constantly suggest to everyone that they always do two things regarding their income and expenses. Save a portion of your earnings to that you have a reserve of 3 to 6 months of living costs. Work loss or an unanticipated expenditure can place you in a financially risky area if you're not prepared. Create a realistic budget that details your income, variable and fixed expenses that are your true necessities. Your savings emergency fund also has to be accounted for. Only if you then have money left over each month, should you even start to think about your expenditures that are really wants, not needs. Backslash. I always advise this to anyone looking for financial tips. In my September 2017 blog, Debt Elimination, Are You Sabotaging Your Wealth by Saving and Reducing Debt? I include a discussion of both of these recommendations. Back in 2013 I wrote about the scary statistic on Canadians living paycheck to paycheck in my blog Are You Living Paycheck to Paycheck? Over the years I have written several articles about the looming dangers of Canadians not having a savings emergency fund while their debt is rising and income is relatively stagnant. I always have written about the need to have an emergency fund in case you are faced with an unplanned nasty surprise that you could not have controlled or anticipated. The examples I always give are unexpected expenditures such as from a medical emergency, or loss of income due to job loss. Well, the GM Canada workers are there now. Unless there is a magical reversal of policy, the GM Oshawa plant closing is happening. It's a tough situation. I can't just leave off this blog having said what all working Canadians should have done. Job loss is a major stress not only for the individual, but for the entire family. You start stressing over exactly how are you going to make the next rent or home mortgage payment and the car payment. Exactly how are you most likely to maintain food on the table and also the lights on? These are all regular concerns. So, below are my leading 5 points the GM employees ought to do both previously as well as after they quit working at GM offered the news of the Oshawa GM plant closing. Collect yourself for a few days. Don't make any rash decisions. For the next 2 to 3 days, just don't do anything. Your emotions are high. You're probably talking under your breath thinking about how your revenge will be swift and just and cold as the blackest winter's night. People don't make rational, mathematics-based decisions when that type of emotion is involved. Take a walk around a park. Catch up on your favorite shows. Spend some time with the family. After things have settled down, now it is time to form a plan before you are actually laid off. If you are a union worker, the union will have resources available for both counseling and to advise of what arrangements GM is making for workers about notice periods and other financial issues relating to being laid off. If you are on salary, presumably GM will make a third-party resource available for you to provide this information. Otherwise, the GM HR department will take care of it. So what are some of the elements of a plan? Once you are laid off, consider filing for employment insurance benefits. Right now you might be thinking that such a government subsidy is for losers. I have skills, diplomas, degrees, experience, I am not a loser. I am not going to stand in line for a government handout. I get that, but, what have you been paying into the employment insurance fund all these years for? Exactly this situation. You earn the right to get paid something back from this fund. This is literally what this is for. With all the government paperwork and red tape, it could take a while for the first check to get to you. In the meantime, Your car still requires gas and your body still requires food. You will be laying out money, or going into credit card debt. You need to know that there is at least some money soon to come. If you have already started making phone calls to try to line something up for the next phase of your working life, it may take longer than you think. At least know that you have taken a positive step to start bringing in some money while you are searching for the next work opportunity. You may be getting working notice instead of a severance package. You may need the employment insurance payments to live on, especially if there isn't a check beyond your normal pay when you leave GM. Get professional advice on rolling over your pension entitlement to your RRSP. If you are a member of a GM pension plan, and assuming you are not entitled to receive benefits immediately, you will have some choices to make. You certainly aren't going to leave the money with the existing pension fund manager once you are laid off. 
you want to make sure that the transfer is done properly. Properly is both from an income tax perspective as well as what is the right investment vehicle for you given your age and future work expectations. If you are a union member, I am sure your union rep will be provided with information to provide to you on the best way to do the transfer. For a salaried worker, the GMHR department should be helpful at least regarding what your rollover choices are. Create a realistic household budget. There are many benefits to having a proper budget. A spending plan offers you control over your life. It forces you to review your new family income level and make decisions about how you will spend that income. Budgeting will certainly permit you to fulfill your financial objectives paying your expenses while also focusing on savings for your retirement. It might be tough in the beginning on a reduced income. However, a realistic budget will let you control the lower income properly until you are back on your feet. Once you are earning what you should be in a new position, then the budget can be reworked. You will now be able to spend some money on things your family needs that you had to stop buying.